Open Heavens on the Go Monday, July 1st, 2024 Topic Return on Seeds, Part 1 Memory Verse Mark 4, 20 And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some an hundred. Bible reading, Matthew thirteen one to eight. The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore, and he spake many things unto them in parables, saying. Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away, and some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some six fo- some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. The message. In finance, there is something called return on investment. Likewise, in the kingdom of God, there is something I would like to call return on seeds. This is the profit you make when a seed is sown in the kingdom of God. According to today's Bible reading, there is the possibility of having a zero return on seed sown or a 30, 60 or 100 fold return. Also, as you will learn later in this series, there is the possibility of having an unlimited return on your seeds. Two things determine your return on seeds. The first is what is left with you after sowing. In other words, how sacrificial is your seed? The second is the soil on which you sowed. Today, I will focus on the kind of soil that brings zero return on seeds. Many years ago, I was sowing seeds into a ministry abroad. I knew about the law of harvest, so I kept sowing. However, nothing was coming forth. I became worried, and so I started to ask God what was happening. Then I had a dream. In the dream, I was standing on a farmland with heaps that showed that things had been sown on that land. I lifted one of the heaps, and underneath it was solid concrete. This meant that nothing could grow on that land. When I woke up, I knew the meaning of the dream. The ministry I had been sowing into was as good as concrete ground. No seed will yield returns when sown there. If you sow a seed in a place that God does not approve of, your seed will yield no return. God cares about the poor. Therefore, when you sow into their lives, Psalm 41 1 says that he will deliver you in the day of trouble. God cares about his prophets and ministers. So, when you sow into their lives, you will get a reward. Matthew 10 41 to 42. God cares about his church. So, when you sow into a ministry, you will be rewarded. Malachi 3, 10-12 If the place you sow into only looks like a ministry from the outside, but is devoid of God's presence, then your seeds will yield zero returns. You can decide to give anybody money if you wish, but if it is a seed, ensure that you are sowing in a place or a person that God is interested in. Don't sow your seeds on concrete and expect a return. It will not yield anything. 
key point. Be sure of the soil before you sow your seeds in it. Bible reading in one year, Proverbs 8 to 11. Him for today, there shall be showers of blessing. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.